Hello all the crazy people out there, my name is Michael, I like wizards and dragons and making games, and now that the 2023.2 update to Game Maker is out, a couple of my older videos are in a bit of need of an update. Fortunately, this is nothing major. Your old code, if you're doing anything of this sort, will still work, but there is now an easier way to do it with the new Surface formats that Game Maker has introduced this month. So, when it comes to encoding color, when it comes to encoding depth to a texture, uh, what we were doing in the past... I made this video about a, uh, a year ago, a little more than a year ago, and I've used it a few times uh, since then for various 3D tricks. Um, what we had to do is we had to take the, uh, the depth of value, which was a number between 0 and 1, and encode it as a series of red, green, and blue color values, and we had to transform it by doing a, bu a, bunch, of, uh, a bunch of math on it so that we didn't lose any precision when we turned the, um, the depth value into a color. Hey. And that wasn't super difficult, it's not super like expensive. Uh, computationally, but it is a bunch of work that we no longer have to do. For Game Maker has now given us the ability to just um, essentially encode a value such as depth directly to a texture. So I made a video on the different surface formats probably the week before this video is going up, and um, I will have that one linked. I would recommend watching that and getting caught up to speed with surface formats. Uh, this video is going to be one where I more make a practical example of how to do this rather than, um, you know, explaining things a second time. So right now, this entire 3D scene is being rendered to the application surface, and what I'm about to do, as far as I know, you can't do with the application surface, which is the default surface that Game Maker draws everything onto. So I'm instead going to need to create myself a, uh, another surface. Let's call it depth underscore surface. And this is going to be surface create. We can just make this the same width and height as the, um, as the game window. So I can say window get, window get width window get height, and the, uh, the surface create function now takes a third optional argument, which is the surface format. So there's a couple of those that you can use. So um, surface underscore RGBA8 unorm is the default. This is the one that uh, you would have been using for surfaces in Game Maker since time immemorial. Um, there are others, which you can see if you type surface underscore and then control space. Uh, the one that I'm interested in is surface R32 float. And that is going to create a surface which hey. stores a single 32-bit floating point value for each um, for each pixel, uh, which is different from surface RGBA8 U norm, which will store a single byte for red, green, blue, alpha of each pixel. And this is what I'm going to use to store depth. So uh, let me go into the draw event. Let me say uh, surface set target. Uh, we can say self .depth surface. Uh, we're going to clear the surface so that everything that was previously on it is erased. Uh, when I'm done, surface reset target. And uh, you could do this in the draw event. You could do this in the post draw event. I don't really care. Uh, we're going to draw the surface, surface dot depth surface at zero, zero. And that is going to render everything in the room onto a surface and then the surface onto the screen. And if I just do this without doing anything else, we can see that we've got the same image as before. We've got the same banded image, but the only color channel that's being used here is red. Um, I actually did not mean to run the game before I was done doing what I'm going to do. Uh, that is completely okay. So instead of doing all this, instead of doing this, uh, this, business, this business with the depth scale color and two depth color and depth from color and stuff like that, I'm going to get rid of that. And I am going to say GL frag color is going to equal a VEC4, uh, which is comprised of only the distance to the camera on the red channel. So this is a float distance to camera, right? Uh, we're going to give it 0 on the green, 0 on the blue, and 1 on the alpha. Um, in practice, it doesn't really matter what you give for the other um, the other color channels, because the only one that's being used here is, um, is red. And at a very specific distance, if I stand exactly here, the color, is, uh, the color is something other than, like, pure red. Now, when it comes to sampling this from a texture, and I'm not going to use any practical examples of this today, I will um, probably soon make uh, additional follow-up videos for um, shadow mapping and for deferred rendering using this. All you have to do uh, when you want to sample this depth value from another texture is, say, texture 2D. And we're going to sample from gm underscore base texture or whatever texture sampler that um, is staged as the uh, the depth texture. And 
I guess we can say V underscore V text core because that's a traditional game maker texture coordinate name. Uh, this is going to likewise be whatever the uh, the UV coordinates you want to sample on the depth map bar. And instead of taking the RGB color value that you sample from the depth map like this and doing all the transforms on it that we were doing before to turn it back into a, uh, a number, uh, we're just going to sample the, uh, the red channel. And you don't have to do anything to it. This is just going to be the red channel. And whatever the depth that you encoded to the texture happens to be, that's what you're going to get back. It's not going to be like divided by 255 or anything weird like that um, when it's encoded to the texture because the RG... Sorry, the R32 float surface format doesn't do any anything special to it when it's uh, written to the texture the way that the, uh, the default surface format does when you write a, um, a color value to the texture. So you can see how this makes our lives quite a bit easier. There's really no performance cost to doing this. Um, in fact, this is actually slightly more efficient than what we had before because we don't have to do the extra math to transform the values. And we have effectively turned, what, 20 lines of shader code into five lines of shader code. So if you're using GameMaker 2023.2 or later, uh, this is definitely how you're going to want to render depth textures. Again, uh, shortly I will be making additional follow-up videos on uh, updating my, uh, my shadow map code and my deferred renderer code. Uh, to use these new surface formats. So as for writing normals to a surface, uh, you can use the um, something such as like the RGBA32 float uh, surface format to simply encode a normal to a surface without having to do any of the transforms to it. But I find that to be less necessary because the math is uh, much simpler um, to encode a normal to a color. And uh, RGBA32 float does take up a little bit more um, it takes up a little bit more video memory than the standard game maker uh, RGBA8 uNorm surface does, so I don't really think there's much of a reason to do that. Uh, but I'll talk more about that in the deferred rendering video. So my name is Michael. I like wizards and dragons and making games. I hope you all find this useful. I try to post about two game dev videos a week: one tutorial tutorial like this, and one let's make a game. I might make an exception to that this week because none of the three videos that I have in mind are especially complicated. I have a Patreon, so if you want to contribute to the channel, links to that can be found in all the usual places, and I will see you all later. Special thanks to Army Armbuster, DJ Gibbles, Edward Holt, Game Maker, Gamer Player, Harold Guidry, Manta Ray, Project 103, Rowdy Coder, Syndra Larson, Square Crow, V Tro V, and Zenjamin for supporting these videos. If you want to contribute to the channel, head on over to the Patreon page down in the video description to join the fun.